welcome to Maggie here with a super quick install tutorial for Fallout Who 1.0 on the PC. Fallout Who 1.0 can be downloaded from the Nexus. Can't be downloaded using Nexus Mod Manager, so please don't try. We will be introducing Nexus Mod Manager compatibility in the future, but for now, you have to download it and install it manually. So here's the video to sort of run you through that process. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to download both the main file and the update file. You definitely need the update file because it includes um, bugs, uh, bug fixes that we compiled um, shortly after, after launch. Once both of those files are downloaded, you should end up with a main file RAR and a patch file RAR. Now it's very important that you install the main file RAR first because you're going to overwrite some files from the patch with it. So what we need to do next is we need to find the location that your Fallout 4 is installed. If you have Fallout 4 installed via Steam, what you can do is you can go into Steam, you can right click on your game in your library, you can select properties, go to local files, and then you can browse local files. This will open your Fallout 4 directory. If not, and you've installed this from DVD or disk or any other way, I can't imagine how you would have installed it any other way, but if you have done, you'd need to navigate to, to find it on, on your relevant drive, as, as you would do. So once that's downloaded, what you want to do is you want to open your main file RAR, which is here. You can open this using WinZip, WinRAR, whatever you see fit. You want to take all of the files in there. Now when I click and drag, you, you basically want to unpack them to your data folder. Okay, So the data folder is within the Fallout 4 folder. Now you can see that you'll have other mod files within here. Okay, All you simply want to do is click and drag these into your data folder not the folder above, no folders within here, you simply click and drag. If you already have the relevant folders in there, it will drop everything into the right folders for you. It really couldn't be more simple than that. Once you've done that, you need to do exactly the same with the patch RAR. What this does is this deploys all of the bug fixes that we included shortly after launch. If it asks you to replace any of the files that are in there, say yes. That is absolutely imperative because you've if you don't replace the files, you're not replacing the bug fixes that we put in there. Effectively, that's the bulk of the work that's been done. One of the key problems people have been having with the mod is that when they start the game, they don't seem to be able to see some of the meshes, or they open the fob watch and nothing happens. This is called archive invalidation, and archive invalidation is the bane of the modder's life. Unfortunately, it, what it does is it, in a nutshell, tries to keep old files overriding the top of new files and therefore the game can never read scripted files or R asset files. The way around this is quite simple. What you want to do is you want to navigate to your My Games folder which is usually in the uh, Documents section on your Windows operating system and then find the Fallout 4 Game folder. In here you'll have your configuration files that you normally get with a game, including your, your saves and any log errors. The key file that you're looking for here is your Fallout 4 custom.ini file. Now I don't have .ini on here, that's because I've got my file extensions hidden, but that's what you're looking for, Fallout 4 custom.ini. If it's not there, what you need to do is you need to go to your Windows, go into Notepad, Save as, go into Documents, My Games, Fallout 4, and then create Fallout 4 custom.ini, changing the save as type to all files so it doesn't save it as a text file. At that point you click Save and it creates a completely blank INI file for you to modify. The key important part of this is once you open this file, you need to have this highlighted section of text in there. This basically activates the archive invalidation and allows mods to load. If you don't have this running and you're constantly getting errors with scripts not running and the mod not working, this is your problem. Put that into the file. You don't need to worry about all of this down here. This is for my personal modding configuration settings. Copy this text. You can find this on the internet, there are thousands of archive invalidation tutorials out there. Copy this into the file, save the file, close, 
run Fallout 4. Once you're in the game, you can hit T on your main menu to load your mod order. Select falloutwho.esp. At this time, you can load that into your um, load order in any way you see fit. You don't need to worry about which part you put it in, and away you go. If you have any problems after that, honestly, I genuinely don't know what will be causing it, but you should be fine from that point onwards. So for now, thanks for watching. Keep following Facebook for more mod news, and we'll be in touch.